the previous voice. Just get it low, get a little bit of rasp to it, and that's all there is. Previously on... What the f***? I went back in time! We're going back in time! I hope you're ready for this. I know I'm not. I'm certainly not. So I don't know how you could be. If I'm not ready, I don't know how you're ready. I'm still getting ready, actually. I'm trying to get this costume on. <laughs> uh, all right. So, we're going to start in a second. This is going to be a brief costume reveal, all right? Brief costume reveal, maybe a little bit of Q&A. And then we're going to jump into uh, gameplay. All right. Continuing on with my uh, Little Hope playthrough. But, FYI, you guys this year voted on categories of Halloween costume for me to wear. All right. And the winner of the poll was Pop Culture. Something from Pop Culture. The 2020 Halloween costume reveal. Hello, everyone. <laughs> How you doing? <laughs> uh, hello. Uh, hi. I'm Colonel Sanders, and I'm here to welcome you to the Halloween Marathon for 2020. What? Yoo-hoo! You ready for this, boy? I hope you're ready for this. There's something wrong with my mustache. It looks like uh, something's a little crooked here. Something's happening. I don't know. Hmm. Usually, you find me in the kitchen cooking chicken, but today, something special for you. I'm going to be here on stream all day long playing spooky style scary games with you. A holiday, special holiday event. Halloween 2020, everybody. Oh, shit. So, uh, that makes me cringe. Ugh. Holy shit. People are going nuts, of course. Working in the kitchen is hard because it's so hot. <laughs> and your facial features tend to melt off. What would you like me to do today? The basics include cooking, cleaning, laundry. See, that's what I'm talking about. Yup, that's what's huh. hearted. This mustache is, uh, not staying on correctly. And that's okay, I guess. There's not much I can do about it. You gotta make do with what you- Oh, there you go. That's a little better, actually. You gotta make do with what you got in life. That's what my pappy always told me. That's why I made the original recipe. special That's what the fuck? Oh, shit. Oh, boy, did you realize what I just realized? DSP tries it live. Colonel Sanders trying out some food items. Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. You know I'm going to be hungry after three games. This southern belly is going to be empty and growling. I'm going to want some food, boy. My, my hair, my southern hair is so high profile that it doesn't fit on the camera. We need a bigger camera. Everything's bigger in the south. We need a bigger camera for this stream. All right, hold on a second here. Oh boy. Who's my favorite Five Nights at Freddy's character? Uh, the chicken. I think they're, uh, what's a good word to use? They're retarded. It's the Necronomicon, it's Mortis. Let's do DSP tries it. No, I'm not doing it in character as Colonel Sanders. There's no way I could eat with the beard on and everything, okay? All right, so, you guys ready? Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a special Halloween Halloween Day episode of DSP Tries It. It is Halloween 2020. First of all, I was in line for over 30 minutes to get the food for today's DSP Tries It. So, our stomachs are going... Bleh. Yeah, there were 17 cars in line at 3.30 p.m. Figure that one out. I have no idea. We're doing a taste test head-to-head -head challenge. Two items from Wendy's that are currently available on the Wendy's menu right now. There is the jalape bacon jalapeno chicken sandwich. And then there is the pub chicken sandwich. 12 seconds later. Uh, guess what? We are not doing a head-to-head -head DSP tries it. Because they gave me two pub chicken sandwiches. But wait, there's more. I waited a half an hour in line 
for this, and they gave me two of the same sandwich. And I paid more money. I paid more money for this one, and, well, the other one. They, they just screwed up the order is what they did. It's completely screwed up. The, the bacon jalapeno sandwich is based on a spicy chicken uh, breast. Is the spiciness to it with jalapenos, a brioche style bun, what appears to be pepperoni, some kind of mayonnaise, lettuce, tomato, pickles, onions, mayo, and ketchup, fried onions, pieces of steak, and two pickles. No mushrooms. I'm surprised by that. I thought there would be mushrooms. A lot of cheese. <clears throat> I think I see a pepper. Graham crackers. Sausage. And a cheese sauce. Banana peppers. Layers of what appears to be chocolate. Okay, I love chocolate. The pub chicken is regular homestyle chicken with like a bunch of cheese. It's like pure liquid butter. As well as like lettuce and stuff in there. So I'm going to do them head to head. A taste test head to head. <sighs> Wait till you hear this. The... Pub chicken sandwich is seven six five dollars and twenty nine cents. Yeah, that's the cost of like the whole a whole combo meal anywhere else. Seven dollars and twenty nine cents. The bacon jalapeno sandwich I think is six dollars and eighty nine cents. So price-wise, these sandwiches are almost equivalent, and they are very effing expensive. $7.29 for an effing sandwich. All right, holy shit. Let's give it a shot. The pub chicken sandwich from Wendy's. That is interesting. Because there's definitely a lot of salt, of course, fast food. But... The pickle, the the vinegar taste of the pickle cuts into the salt flavor. Um, absolutely gross looking. Salt, 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 salt. Well, my opinion is it's it's okay, it's good. I just tasted sugar. The vinegar taste flavor of the pickle complements the savoriness of the breading. Oh, oh, wow, it's so different. Oh, that was very salty. I'm not gonna lie. I did like the banana pepper. Spicy. It's a spicy sauce. It's like really spicy. The pickle flavor kind of balanced out with the other flavors of the sandwich. The banana pepper was a good contrast to the other flavors and give it a tanginess. Otherwise, rather than just marshmallow goo and sugar, it's flavorful. The, both the pepper and the onion are a good contrast to the, the flavor of it. It doesn't really have a meat flavor to it. It's still salty as shit. The marinara sauce actually makes it better in my opinion like again you get the tanginess of the banana pepper but now you're getting the tanginess of the banana pepper and the salt of that salami cut through the insane garlic butter taste the acidity of the tomato and the marinara sauce it gives it more robust flavor it is still warm that's good so you gotta be careful eating this thing because it can actually move you know, all the ingredients can move around while you're trying to eat it. The cheese is kind of like melty sandwich cheese. It's not like pizza cheese, you know what I mean? Sausage is very, very greasy there. But it doesn't necessarily taste like meat. That's good. That's good. Oh, it tastes like, oh, oh. You get a little more of the aftertaste. You get like a char aftertaste in your mouth from it. I would not wish anyone to eat that. I can't imagine someone actually like liking that. It's got a unique smell, but I don't know what... I actually don't know what that smells like. Toxic garlic juice in their veins, right? There's no savoriness. I don't even know what that is. What are those sauces? I can't even put my finger on what it does taste like. I don't taste any avocado whatsoever. It's lumpy meat in some parts and, and it's not just smooth throughout. It definitely has a tanginess and a creaminess. You can't taste, all you taste is the salt. Weird. Why? Alright. Why in the fuck?